Hello and welcome to Clean Nuts. We're doing a lot of wiring. I've been using these connectors here. So let's have a look at how you actually put them on the wire. So as you've seen on the Bugatti replica, we've got plenty of these. And I'm going to just show you how I connect them. So what do we need? We need a piece of wire. We've got two pieces of wire. There are several types of connectors. These are the ones I favour, with the separate insulation. But you also get these ones that have half insulation. And that time that has full insulation. And we need a crimping tool. So this particular crimping tool And there's two types of crimping tool. This is a cheap one. It's quite thin compared to that one. Look at that. That's amazing. So, this has got a wire cutter here. The more expensive one has a wire cutter at the tip. So I want to cut wire. Quite simple. And this tool has a crimp for the red and blue and yellow connectors. The yellow are the smallest, the blue are the middle size, and the red are the largest. So we need to, and it also has a stripper, a wire stripper here. Let's deal with the other tool, it's much better. The other tool has this section for non insulated connectors, which is this. And you can't fit these with that tool. So the first thing you have to do is strip the wire. So if you lay that in there, you see roughly how much you need to strip. And you'll need to strip about that much. So you're not interfering with the way the terminal goes into it and you're leaving enough copper visible to make the connection. So how do we strip the wire? Wire stripper, different sizes, this is 1.5. So let's give ourselves enough copper. Give it a crimp and strip us the wire. Make it nice and neat by rolling it around in your fingers. Now this is going to fit in there. The easiest way to do it is to preload the tool. We're going to use this section here. The two blades will be in here and that will be underneath. So you load the crimping tool first. Now we're not straight. Can you see there how that is going to curve those in. And that pin there is going to put a dent underneath. So we're loaded. So place that in there. So we've got the insulated part where the taller tangs are and the wire part where the shorter tangs are. Then you give it a crimp. In fact, it doesn't look straight. It needs to be nice and straight in the hole. So here we go. It's just got it. 
You give it all you got. You can feel it crimp. Now that's a very nice crimp over the wires. And if we look underneath, we can see that pin has put a dent in there. You see it? What I do now is just ease those over. Give them a little nip. With just to grip the, the, the actual insulation of the cable. A little bit bent. Now what you must have done, which I've forgotten to do, is to put the insulation on first. But we're very lucky, because we're just doing a demonstration and I can cheat. Slide that down. There you have it. So that will go on a switch or a terminal or it won't pull off. Now the other type of terminal are the ones that are a bit more DIY. See that in there? Let's make this a bit neater. So you feel it go down to that shoulder there. Then you get the blue section of the crimping tool, which is here, for insulated closures. And these, you really need to give it all you've got. So I can feel it, I can feel it's gone into that shoulder. And let's give it a crimp. I'm going to really give it some now. See how it's deformed it? I wonder if it'll pull off. It won't. Well, that one was good. My experience is I don't like these as much. So there you go. That's how you use a crimping tool. But if you're going to buy yourself one, don't buy a cheap one like this, which is made out of thinner metal and hasn't got the crimping tool here that you need to fit the bare terminals on. In fact, this is really cheap and nasty, this. I'm going to bin that and stick with this. Hope it helps you, and I'll catch you next time on Clean Nuts.